UTO Aztecan or UTO Aztecan is a family of indigenous languages of the Americas, consisting of over 30 languages. UTO Aztecan languages are found almost entirely in the western United States and Mexico. The name of the language family was created to show that it includes both the Ute language of Utah and the Nahuan languages also known as Aztecan of Mexico. The UTO Aztecan language family is one of the largest linguistic families in the Americas in terms of number of speakers, number of languages, and geographic extension. The northernmost UTO Aztecan language is Shoshone, which is spoken as far north as Salmon, Idaho, while the southernmost is the Pipil language of El Salvador. Ethnologue gives the total number of languages in the family as 61, and the total number of speakers as 1,900,412. The roughly 1.7 to 1.9 million speakers of Nahuatl languages account for almost four-fifths of these. The internal classification of the family often divides the family into two branches, a northern branch including all the languages of the U.S. and a southern branch including all the languages of Mexico, although it is still being discussed whether this is best understood as a genetic classification or as a geographical one. Below this level of classification the main branches are well accepted, Numic including languages such as Comanche and Shoshone, and the Californian languages formerly known as the Tacic group, including Cahuilla and Luisinho, account for most of the northern languages. Hopi and Tubatulabal are languages outside those groups. The southern languages are divided into the Tepaman languages including Oadam and Tepawan, the Tarahumaran languages including Raramori and Guarigio, the Cahitan languages including Yaqui and Mayo, the Corocholan languages including Cora and Huichol, and the Nahuan languages. The homeland of the Uto Aztecan languages is generally considered to have been in the southwestern United States or possibly northwestern Mexico. An alternative theory has proposed the possibility that the language family originated in southern Mexico, within the Mesoamerican language area, but this has not been generally considered convincing. Proto-Uto Aztecan Proto-Uto Aztecan is the hypothetical common ancestor of the Uto Aztecan languages. Authorities on the history of the language group have usually placed the Proto-Uto Aztecan homeland in the border region between the United States and Mexico, namely the upland regions of Arizona and New Mexico and the adjacent areas of the Mexican states of Sonora and Chihuahua, roughly corresponding to the Sonoran Desert and the western part of the Chihuahuan Desert. It would have been spoken by Mesolithic foragers in Aridoamerica, about 5,000 years ago. Reconstructions of the botanical vocabulary offer clues to the ecological niche inhabited by the Proto-Uto Aztecans. Fowler placed the center of Proto-Uto Aztecan in central Arizona with northern dialects extending into Nevada and the Mojave Desert and southern dialects extending south through the Tepaman Corridor into Mexico. The homeland of the Numic languages has been placed in Southern California near Death Valley, and the homeland of the proposed Southern Uto Aztecan group has been placed on the coast of Sonora. A contrary proposal suggests the homeland of Proto Uto Aztecan to have been much farther to the south. It was published in 2001 by Jane H. Hill, based on her reconstruction of maize related vocabulary in Proto Uto Aztecan. By her theory, the assumed speakers of Proto-Uto Aztecan were maize cultivators in Mesoamerica, who gradually moved north, bringing maize cultivation with them, during the period of roughly 4,500 to 3,000 years ago. The geographic diffusion of speakers corresponded to the breakup of linguistic unity. The hypothesis has been criticized on several grounds, and it is not generally accepted by Uto Aztecanists. Using computational phylogenetic methods, Wheeler and Whiteley 2014, also suggest a southern homeland for Proto-Uto Aztecan in or near the area occupied by historical Cora and some Nahua. Nahuatl forms the most basal clade in Wheeler and Whiteley's 2014, Uto Aztecan Phylogram. A survey of agriculture-related vocabulary by Merrill 2012 found that the agricultural vocabulary can be reconstructed for only southern Uto Aztecan. That supports a conclusion that the Proto-Uto Aztecan speech community did not practice agriculture but adopted it only after entering Mesoamerica from the north. A recent proposal, by David L. Shaw, presents evidence suggesting contact between Proto-Uto Aztecan and languages of Central California, such as Esalen and the Yokutsan languages. 
That leads Schall to suggest that Proto-Uto Aztecan was spoken in California's Central Valley area, and it formed part of an ancient Californian linguistic area. Vowels Proto-Uto Aztecan is reconstructed as having an unusual vowel inventory, asterisk I asterisk I asterisk U asterisk O asterisk. Langaker 1970, demonstrated that the fifth vowel should be reconstructed as asterisk as opposed to asterisk e, and there has been a long-running dispute over the proper reconstruction. Consonants asterisk n and asterisk may have actually been asterisk l and asterisk n, respectively. Geographic distribution UTO as Tekken languages are spoken in the North American mountain ranges and adjacent lowlands of the western United States, in the states of Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Utah, California, Nevada, Arizona, and of Mexico, states of Sonora, Chihuahua, Nayarit, Durango, Zacatecas, Jalisco, Michoacán, Guerrero, San Luis Potosi, Hidalgo, Puebla, Veracruz, Morelos, Estado de México, and Ciudad de México. Classical Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs, and its modern relatives are part of the Uto Aztecan family. The Pipil language, an offshoot of Nahuatl, spread to Central America by a wave of migration from Mexico, and formerly had many speakers there. Now it has gone extinct in Guatemala and Honduras, and it is nearly extinct in western El Salvador, all areas dominated by use of Spanish. Present-day locations of living Uto Aztecan languages in Mexico and Mesoamerica classification history of classification Uto Aztecan has been accepted by linguists as a language family since the early 1900s, and six subgroups are accepted as valid by all experts, Numic, Takic, Pimic, Terakehitic, Corachol, and Aztecan. That leaves two ungrouped languages, Tubatulable and Hopi, sometimes termed isolates within the family. As to higher level groupings, disagreement has persisted since the 19th century. Presently scholars also disagree as to where to draw language boundaries within the dialect continuum. The similarities among the Uto Aztecan languages were noted as early as 1859 by J.C.E. Bushman, but he failed to recognize the genetic affiliation between the Aztecan branch and the rest. He ascribed the similarities between the two groups to diffusion. Daniel Garrison Brinton added the Aztecan languages to the family in 1891 and coined the term Uto Aztecan. John Wesley Powell, however, rejected the claim in his own classification of North American indigenous languages, also published in 1891. Powell recognized two language families, Shoshonean, encompassing Takic, Numic, Hopi, and Tubatulable, and Sonoran, encompassing Pimic, Terakehidan, and Korachol. In the early 1900s Alfred L. Krober filled in the picture of the Shoshonean group, while Edward Sapper proved the unity among Aztecan, Sonoran, and Shoshonean. Sapper's applications of the comparative method to unwritten Native American languages are regarded as groundbreaking. Vegelin, Vegelin and Hale, 1962, argued for a three-way division of Shoshonean, Sonoran and Aztecan, following Powell. As of about 2011, there is still debate about whether to accept the proposed basic split between Northern Uto Aztecan and Southern Uto Aztecan languages. Northern Uto Aztecan corresponds to Powell's Shoshonean, and the latter is all the rest, Powell's Sonoran plus Aztecan. Northern Uto Aztecan was proposed as a genetic grouping by Jeffrey Heath 1978, based on morphological evidence, and Manister Raymer 1992, adduced phonological evidence in the form of a sound law. Kaufman 1981, accepted the basic division into northern and southern branches as valid. Other scholars have rejected the genealogical unity of either both nodes or the northern node alone. Miller's argument was statistical, arguing that northern Uto Aztecan languages displayed too few cognates to be considered a unit. On the other hand, he found the number of cognates among southern Uto Aztecan languages to suggest a genetic relation. This position was supported by subsequent lexicostatistic analyses by Cortina Borja and Valinius Koala, 1989, and Cortina Borja, Stuart Smith, and Valinius Koala, 2002. Reviewing the debate, Haugen 2008, considers the evidence in favor of the genetic unity of northern Uto Aztecan to be convincing, but remains agnostic on the validity of southern Uto Aztecan as a genetic grouping. Hill 2011, also considered the north-south split to be valid based on phonological evidence, confirming both groupings. Merrill 2013, adduced further evidence for the unity of southern Uto Aztecan as a valid grouping. Hill 2011 also rejected the validity of the Tacic grouping decomposing it into a Californian aerial grouping together with Tubatulable. 
Some classifications have posited a genetic relation between Corachol and Nawan, e.g. Merrill, 2013. Kaufman recognizes similarities between Corachol and Aztecan, but explains them by diffusion instead of genetic evolution. Most scholars view the breakup of Proto-UTO-Aztecan as a case of the gradual disintegration of a dialect continuum. Present scheme below is a representation of the internal classification of the language family based on Shaw 2014. The classification reflects the decision to split up the previous Terakehitic and Takic groups, that are no longer considered to be valid genetic units. Whether the division between northern and southern languages is best understood as geographical or phylogenetic is under discussion. The table contains demographic information about number of speakers and their locations based on data from the ethnologue. The table also contains links to a selected bibliography of grammars, dictionaries on many of the individual languages, equals extinct. In addition to the above languages for which linguistic evidence exists, it is suspected that among dozens of now extinct, undocumented or poorly known languages of northern Mexico, many were UTO as Tekken. Extinct languages A large number of languages known only from brief mentions are thought to have been UTO as Tekken languages that became extinct before being documented. References Sources Individual languages External links UTO as Tekken Org, a website devoted to the comparative study of the UTO as Tekken language family. Swadesh vocabulary lists for UTO as Tekken languages from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix.